catches your eye. Yeah. This looks really sleek, and I dare I might even say a little sexy. This wow. is a very good looking car. I, I've decided to sell my ELR. That's right, the 2016 Cadillac ELR that I bought, um, and I've been driving it, I've decided that I'm not gonna keep it. Now, I, some of you may know that I just got back from being out on a cross-country road trip, and you know what happens when you're on a road trip is, at least for me, I think a lot, and I decided to take into account, recently did a poll, I wanted to get the opinions of people, should I keep the Volt, should I keep the ELR? But at the end of the day, it's my decision. I've got two of these sort of Gen 1 Volts. The ELR is really gorgeous, but there's something special about the Volt that, I don't know, the Mighty Volt, I've decided to keep it, at least for now, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm selling the ELR, go to eBay, check it out. The link is in the description. Best of luck to you in bidding. If you have any questions, reach out to me directly. Uh, David out of specstudios.com. All right, so as many of you know, in the last two weeks has been sort of a, a little bit exciting with respect to acquisitions of cars. I think I got two very good cars, both of them at very good prices. Um, one is a 2015 Chevy Volt, and it has 143,000 miles on it. So it's a, it's a baby, it's just getting broken in. <laughs> And the other is a 2016 Cadillac ELR, which is just a beautiful car. And, uh, but you know what happens is when you buy a new car, not a new car, when you buy a new to yourself, a pre-loved, a pre-owned, let's be honest, a used car, what happens? There are things that might need a little tweaking. A little tweaking. You always gotta work through it, right? And you gotta figure them out. So you gotta drive them a little while and then what happens is everything that you try to look for, even if you hire a mechanic to check them out ahead of time, um, you tend to always find, I'm going straight here, I guess. You tend to um, always find things that need to be fixed. And, and so first thing right off the bat is this ELR needs tires. It's got uh, Toyos in the front, it's got, um, it's got uh, Bridgestone, Potenza, summer tires in the rear that are worn out. And yesterday, remember when we were driving back in the ELR from your dad's house on Long Island, we, uh, it started to snow and the car was squirrely on the LIE. And I wasn't going that fast. And, and I really, I had, I had looked at the tires, but boy, I'll tell you what, they need to be replaced. Uh, they're, they're definitely old and, that, and that's okay. I knew that kind of going into it that I didn't want to have. Well, you didn't like that they were missing. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's, it's really super important if you have an all wheel drive car to run the same exact tire in the front and the rear. But when it comes to, you know, a front wheel drive or a rear wheel drive car, it's recommended that you have, I just personally, it doesn't feel right to me having two different tires, you know, sets of two different brands of tires. Mm -hmm. 